Hello my friends, John here, and today we're going to be talking about sleeping pads, perhaps one of the most important yet least discussed pieces of gear. They serve two primary functions. One, they provide the cushioning that allows you to get a good comfortable night's sleep. And two, they keep you warm by insulating you from the cold ground. So let's take a look at some of the factors to consider when choosing the ideal sleeping pad for you. Now we'll start off by taking a quick look at the three main types of sleeping pads. The closed cell foam, the inflatable, and the self-inflating pad. Now you're all probably quite familiar with the closed cell foam pad as they've been a staple of backpackers for years and for good reason as we'll see. What they are is a semi-dense foam which contains thousands of little tiny air bubbles. This is what provides the insulation and cushioning that keep you from that cold hard ground. Now, the advantages of the closed cell foam pads are they're incredibly lightweight, they are very inexpensive, they provide a pretty good level of insulation for the thickness of the pad, and they are virtually indestructible. The disadvantages are they tend to be quite bulky, and due to their thinness, may not provide the cushioning that you need for a comfortable night's sleep. Next in line are the inflatable pads, which are basically a nylon shell that is filled with air. Now the advantages to a pad like this is that they're lightweight, they are extremely compact, sometimes down to the size of a one liter bottle, and they provide a very generous amount of loft, sometimes up to two to three inches. Now that's a lot of comfort right there. The disadvantages is that they do require manual inflation, which can take some time. They are susceptible to puncture, although they are generally easy to repair in the field. And they do not provide the best insulation from the cold, although there are models out there on the market that do provide some type of filler or a reflective barrier, which can increase the insulation value dramatically. And last but not least is the self-inflating pad. These also have a nylon outer shell, but they're filled with an open cell foam core. Now the advantage to the self-inflating pad is, well, they're self-inflating. You open up the valve and let the pad do the work on its own. Can't beat that, can you? They're also relatively uh, lightweight and compact, although not necessarily as much so as the inflatables and uh, they provide a very uh, generous amount of cushioning and insulation value for their size. The disadvantages to these pads are that they can be relatively bulky uh, depending on the model you get and they are also susceptible to uh, failure or damage in the field although once again repairs uh, can be fairly easy. With any of these pads one thing you want to take into consideration is the pads R value. The R value is a number rated system which essentially just tells you the uh, ability of the pad to insulate you from the ground, uh, i.e. its warmth. So if you're looking at a pad that's rated 1, it's going to provide you with not a lot of warmth. Uh, conversely, if you're looking at a pad that's rated a 6, say, that's going to provide you a lot more warmth for colder weather camping. So you want to take that into consideration. And some of the other things that you may want to take into account uh, is just the intended use that you're going to use the pad for. If you are, uh, you know, comfortable sleeping with a lot less cushioning, uh, you want to go lightweight, you don't have a lot of money to spend, you know, a good closed cell phone pad may be the choice for you. Uh, if you need a lot of comfort and um, padding from the ground, you know, an inflatable pad might be the choice for you. And finally, you'll want to choose a pad that fits your body size and sleeping style. There are a wide range of pads on the market that should easily allow you to find a size that's perfect for your needs. Well, I hope that you found this information useful and it helps you choose the right sleeping pad for your next outdoor adventure. And if so, please feel free to give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate it and it lets us know that you enjoyed the video. And for more outdoor related tips, tricks, and content, we've included some links right here for you to enjoy. Until next time, take the best of care and thank you for watching.